subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about, Salesforce Data Architecture and Management Designer. The Salesforce Data Architecture and Management Designer course focuses on providing credibility to the existing designer, who assesses the architecture environment and requirements, and designs sound, scalable, and performance solutions on the Customer 360 platform. Benefits from this course The designer will also have experience working with the following. First, data modeling and database design. Second, master data management. Third, Salesforce data management. Fourth, data governance. Fifth, large data volume considerations. Sixth, data migration. Now we will talk about eligibility. The Salesforce certified data architecture and management designer is required to have following background. First, two to three years of Salesforce experience. Second, five plus years of experience supporting or implementing data centric solutions. Next is, intended job roles. First, advanced administrator. Second, data architect. Third, technical, or solution architect. Fourth, advanced platform developer. Exam details. Exam name, Salesforce certified data architecture, and management designer. Content, 60 multiple choice, or multiple select questions. Time allotted to complete the exam, 105 minutes. Passing score, 58%. Registration fee, 400 US dollars plus applicable taxes as required per local law. Retake fee, 200 US dollars plus applicable taxes as required per local law. Now we will discuss about, scheduling the exam. The Salesforce data architecture, and management designer exams can be scheduled either at an on-site proctored center, or online with a virtual proctor through the Salesforce testing partner, Criterion Global Testing Solutions. Exam Outline First, Data Modeling, or Database Design, which compromises 25% weightage for this exam. Second, Master Data Management, which compromises 5% weightage for this exam. Third, Salesforce Data Management, which compromises 25% weightage for this exam. Fourth, Data Governance, which compromises 10% weightage for this exam. Fifth, Large data volume considerations, which compromises 20% weightage for this exam. Sixth, data migration, which compromises 15% weightage for this exam. Let us now discuss about exam outline topics in detail. Number 1, data modeling, or database design, 25%. It contains. First, compare and contrast various techniques and considerations for designing a data model for the customer 360 platform. For example objects, fields, and relationships, object features. Second, given a scenario, recommend approaches, and techniques to design a scalable data model that obeys the current security, and sharing model. Third, compare, and contrast various techniques, approaches, and considerations for capturing, and managing business, and technical metadata, for example business dictionary, data lineage, taxonomy, data classification. Fourth, Compare, and contrast the different reasons for implementing big objects, versus standard slash custom objects within a production instance, alongside the unique pros, and cons of utilizing big objects in a Salesforce data model. Fifth, given a customer scenario, recommend approaches, and techniques to avoid data skew, record locking, sharing calculation issues, and excessive child-to-parent relationships. Number 2, Master Data Management, 5%. It contains. First, compare and contrast the various techniques, approaches, and considerations for implementing master data management solutions, for example MDM implementation styles, harmonizing and consolidating data from multiple sources, establishing data survivorship rules, thresholds, and weights, leveraging external reference data for enrichment, canonical modeling techniques, hierarchy management. Second, given a customer scenario, recommend and use techniques for establishing a golden record, or system of truth for the customer domain in a single org. Third, given a customer scenario, recommend approaches, and techniques for consolidating data attributes from multiple sources. Discuss criteria, and methodology for picking the winning attributes. Fourth, given a customer scenario, 
recommend appropriate approaches, and techniques to capture, and maintain customer reference, and metadata to preserve traceability, and establish a common context for business rules. Number 3, Salesforce Data Management, 25%. It contains. First, given a customer scenario, recommend appropriate combination of Salesforce license types to effectively leverage standard, and custom objects to meet business needs. Second, given a customer scenario, recommend techniques to ensure data is persisted in a consistent manner. Third, given a scenario with multiple systems of interaction, describe techniques to represent a single view of the customer on the Salesforce platform. Fourth, given a customer scenario, recommend a design to effectively consolidate and, or leverage data from multiple Salesforce instances. Number four, data governance, 10%. percent First. Given a customer scenario, recommend an approach for designing a GDPR-compliant data model. Discuss the various options to identify, classify and protect personal, and sensitive information. Second, compare, and contrast various approaches, and considerations for designing, and implementing an enterprise data governance program. Number 5, Large Data Volume Considerations, 20%. It contains. First, given a customer scenario, Design a data model that scales considering large data volume, and solution performance. Second, given a customer scenario, recommend a data archiving, and purging plan that is optimal for customers' data storage management needs. Third, given a customer scenario, decide when to use virtualized data, and describe virtualized data options. Number 6, Data Migration, 15%. It contains. First, given a customer scenario, recommend appropriate techniques and methods for ensuring high data quality at load time second compare and contrast various techniques for improving performance when migrating large data volumes into salesforce third compare and contrast various techniques and considerations for exporting data from salesforce preparation guide first salesforce training salesforce provides training which will help you to build competence confidence, and credibility. You can choose to learn online at your own pace, or can learn from an accredited instructor built by experts at Salesforce. This training will be beneficial for both beginners, who want to build their existing skills, or experienced professionals required knowledge. Salesforce offers two types of training that include. 1. Start doing self-study with the available resources, trail mix, architect journey, data architecture, and management. 2. You can attend expert-led courses provided by Salesforce. Second, join community. You can collaborate and study with fellow trailblazers by joining the trailblazer community. The members of this community are skilled and experienced administrators as well as inexperienced learners. So, joining such a community will resolve most of your exam-related problems. These communities are very interactive and mostly updated with new ideas and any new development in the market. Therefore, to stay updated, and get your queries resolved from experiences members make sure to join this community. Third, books. Books are the most trusted, and reliable source of information. Books can provide an advantage to learn, and understand things more accurately. For the Salesforce Data Architecture, and Management Designer exam, there are various books available which you can find online, or in libraries. Fourth, exam practice tests. By taking practice tests you will be able to improve your answering skills in a specified time frame. That will result in saving a lot of time in the actual exam. One of the best ways to assess your preparation is by giving practice tests. This not only makes you aware of the exam pattern, kind of questions, but also makes you exam savvy. So, make sure to find the best practice sources. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.